Hello Aquarius, I missed you guys. Hope you're doing wonderful wherever you are. This is Monica with Pisces Moon Intuitive. Aquarius, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate? First, as usual, <coughs> sorry, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with, facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whoever it is you're thinking of, concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not. First, we're going to ask how this person is doing at this time and how they are currently relating to you emotionally. What's on their mind? What are they thinking, feeling at this time, especially in relation to you, Aquarius? Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Aquarius, for Aquarius highest good, please. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Aquarius in their life and how is Aquarius currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming up for Aquarius in their life? And how is Aquarius currently doing on their soulmate journey? Let's see, Aquarius, what's happened? You're letting go of some toxic people from your life. People who have hurt you, betrayed your trust, drained you, used you, manipulated you. You're saying enough is enough. That includes toxic relatives, fake friends. Nosy neighbors, co-workers, excess. This is you saying enough is enough. Yeah, family members showing up here. Hmm. Be careful because one family member in particular knows how to pull on your heartstrings. Uh, so you have a bunch of them. Yeah, but one in particular family member... Um, knows how to use you, knows how to pull on your heartstrings, your feelings, emotions, how to gain your trust, and they always drain you. They always use you, manipulate you. Yeah, they're showing up here as a cat. So I love cats in real life. I love animals, but a cat in terror is not a good sign. It represents someone who's very sneaky, who lies, deceives to get what they want. Yeah. They don't see anything wrong with it as long as they get what they want. So be careful. Yeah, because they know how to pull on your heartstrings, feelings, emotions to get what they want. And they drain you each and every time. You're going to have to practice tough love no matter who this person is and how much you love them. You're going to have to practice tough love. Do not let this person use you anymore, drain you anymore, um, because they're not learning their lessons. Yeah, and you need to stand up for yourself and say no. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is you taking charge of your life, taking care of yourself. Yeah, putting your foot down, protecting yourself. Yeah, this is you putting your foot down, showing up here as powerful king of wands, king of action, whether you're male or female, you're showing up as very strong, saying enough is enough. Yeah, good for you, Aquarius. Yeah, this is you healing. So a lot of these toxic people that you're letting go of for good, uh, projected their insecurities, their toxic energy successfully onto you, blamed you for things you didn't do or say. Yeah. And you, this is good because it's reversed. This is you saying enough is enough. This is you protecting your heart. This is you letting go of toxic people, their insecurities, their projections, their demands. Yeah. This is you saying enough is enough. Mm-hmm. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Aquarius. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Your biggest issue in life is your toxic relatives. Yeah. You have a bunch of them. Mm -hmm. Universe, please show us. Hmm. What's coming up for Aquarius? How is Aquarius currently doing? Yeah. This is you. Putting your foot down, saying enough. You still love these people. Of course, you're going to love them, but you're going to have to love them from a distance. You see, you don't feel loved by them. You see, the cups are empty. So the, these toxic people you're letting go of, you don't feel loved by them. They don't show you love. No, because if they showed you love, you would be uh, not trying to get away from them, right? Look how intuitive you are. You are very intuitive. You are an empath. You read people, energy very well. 
Always follow your intuition. Never ignore it. Never. Mm -hmm. You're so tired of these people. Look at this. Ten of swords in your back. This is how you feel. They backstabbed you. They betrayed you. They lied to you. They manipulated you. And the list goes on. You're saying enough is enough. You're not taking it any longer from them. Universe, please show us. Yeah. Hmm. You're so strong, Aquarius. Recognize that. What's coming up for Aquarius? How is Aquarius currently doing on their soulmate journey? Yeah, you're putting your foot down. You're saying enough is enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is you loving yourself, respecting yourself enough to walk away from toxic people. Be careful because some of them really know how to pull on your heartstrings and they're going to try to do it again. Do not let them come back to you with empty apologies, peace offerings, gifts. Uh, no. Mm -mm. Promises. No. You feel so alone. You feel misunderstood by a lot of people. You feel like you're alone in this world, like you have no one to rely on, to trust. Yeah, you feel so alone. Honestly, I would rather be alone than around these toxic people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You let your soulmate go too. You let your soulmate go. Mm -hmm. Let me see. This is you finding your peace, your serenity within yourself. You know, please show us what's coming up for Aquarius. How is Aquarius currently doing on their soulmate journey? Yeah, these people made you feel so unbalanced. They also messed up your finances. So you cannot support other people who should be working. Remember that. Yeah, you're not responsible for other people's financial karma, for their frivolous uh, spending habits. Yeah, let people balance their own financial karma. You are not to be supporting adults that should be working. You're not the bank. Yeah. Oh my gosh, some of them are showing up here as snakes trying to come back to you. So a cat and snakes, yeah. These people really um, mm, affected your finances in a negative way, drained you financially, yeah, because they are toxic. Yeah, this is you picking yourself up financially, making wise financial decisions for yourself. The soulmate that you're letting go of, this is how you view them based on their behavior towards you. So I don't like Knight of Wands, my least favorite Knight of All Nights. You view them as in and out of your life, not communicating effectively, not expressing emotions, not making a solid commitment, not listening to your valid concerns, warning signs. And the list goes on. Yeah, you, you feel they are wishy-washy, that you're going nowhere, that you wish that they would back up uh, their words with actions let's see what's going on with them universe please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of aquarius that aquarius is letting go of and how is that soulmate of aquarius towards aquarius at this time especially emotionally what's going on currently with that soulmate of aquarius and how is that soulmate of aquarius towards aquarius at this time especially emotionally They are depressed, heartbroken over losing you. Yeah. They're not happy. They fault themselves for losing you. Yeah. So your soulmate, the romantic soulmate you're letting go of is very depressed, heartbroken. They feel you don't love them anymore, that you're done with them. They want you back. They feel very connected with you still emotionally, spiritually. They quiet though. They don't communicate with you effectively. They're trying to go within, reflect to see how to fix this, if it's even fi fixable at this time. I don't like this because they're showing up here as a snake. So snakes in tarot is not a good sign. This person betrayed your trust in major ways already. It's hard for you to trust them. Yeah, this person needs to learn how to communicate effectively, openly, honestly without mind games uh oh this is not a good sign no 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 you have valid reasons to let this person go aquarius the devil showing up in subconscious position this person has a lot of issues that they need to work on toxic behavior showing up here addictions this is not a good sign 
No, they have a lot that they need to work on, address, that even has nothing to do with you. Oh my gosh, this is heavy. Universe, please show us. Mm -mm -mm. What's going on currently with that soulmate of Aquarius that Aquarius is letting go of? They're spying on you, showing up here as a sneaky fox, spying on you to see what you're up to, what you're doing. They love you a lot, though. Yes, they do. I can't deny that. This person loves you a lot. They just have something going on in their life that is standing in the way of this relationship. Yeah, they don't make you feel loved, even though they love you deeply. You see, the cups are empty. So there's a lot of love that they feel for you, genuine deep love. But the cups are empty. They don't show it. They don't express it. They don't make you feel loved. Because if they made you feel loved, you would be with them, right? They pay too much attention to physical, intimate, sexual energy in relationships. Not enough to feelings, emotions, and communication. So this person looks like they were unfaithful. Yeah, this is not good. Infidelity showing up here. So whether you found out or strongly suspect, you are correct. This is not a good sign. No. Uh -uh. Universe, please show us. Yeah. Hmm. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Aquarius that Aquarius is letting go of. They want to be brave enough to approach you. They're very scared of your rejection, reaction, judgment. They're in love with you. Yeah, this person is in love with you. But there's somebody else you're manifesting, a new soulmate, Aquarius. By not clinging to this soulmate, by not giving yourself false hopes that some miracle will occur in their behavior. Uh, you making room for positive new energy blessings to enter your life. Yeah. You see, that's what happens when you release toxicity. You're making room for positive energy to reach you, blessings to enter your life. You yourself are manifesting a new soulmate. You see, this is beautiful. King of Cups, the star with two cups with liquid in them, feelings, emotions being expressed, and Ten of Cups, emotional fulfillment, joy, happiness. You are manifesting a new soulmate. Remember, you have free will to decide how you want to react to the new soulmate. Whether you want to give them a chance in a romantic way, be their friend, acquaintance, or say no to them, that's going to be up to you. Ooh, I love the new soulmate's energy. So more than one person of qualities entering your life. The person that you're letting go of wants to take action towards you. This means apologies, gifts, peace offerings, explanations. Hmm, they want to take action towards you because they love you. They don't want to lose you, but it looks like they lost you already. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with that summit of Aquarius that Aquarius is letting go of. You need to cleanse your energy at your residence. Yeah, please do so. Uh, if you could do it tonight, do it. Smudge your whole residence, including your closets, bathrooms, hallways, especially your bedroom where you sleep, because that's when you are most vulnerable. When you are asleep, that energy that's lingering around your residence, uh, that's from other people that you're bringing home with you, because you are an empath, you absorb other people's energy, you bring it home with you, is lingering in your uh, home, and it's affecting you negatively, especially when you are asleep. It's affecting negatively how you think, how you process information. You have very toxic energy lingering in your residence that has nothing to do with you. That's not yours. Yeah, so please smudge it with either sage and sweet grass or palo santo. Mm -hmm. Oh, this person feels they lost you. they concerned. They have a lot of secrets. There's a lot you don't know about them and their activities. Yeah. They worry that if they don't take action, you're going to be with somebody else. They want to manifest you back in their life. They want to show you significant changes. It's good to know they have good intentions, but I think it's important to understand that intentions on its own 
are not going to create a harmonious relationship. They need to follow through with consistent actions. Back up their words with actions. Actions that are believable over time. Wow, you have a bunch of new people entering your life. Uh, replacing their toxic energy, letting go of, replacing with good energy. So don't sit at home. Don't isolate yourself at home, Aquarius. We're going to go into your extended reading. Obviously, we're going to ask about this soulmate, but also new soulmates that are entering your life that showed up as at least three kings. King of Cups, King of Pentacles, King of Wands. First, however, we're going to ask about this soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you at this time. What are they planning long-term? Then we're going to ask what they're currently hiding from you, whether purposely or can communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle the soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life including new soulmates entering your life, new chapters, new beginnings in your life, also your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Aquarius, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.